One thing that I will be doing that is not on the list is Tears of Guthix because let's be real, I'm gonna need a lot of help with runecrafting. Hello and welcome to Distracted Episode 2. My name is Ingus, nice to meet you. Last time we completed the Song of the Elves, you'll see that it's not on here, and that's about it. That's uh, that's all we got. Not much progress has been made so far, but we got the longest quest out of the way. So, without further ado, let's get the new task. Song of the Elves, check. So now we're at 97% for the quest, pretty cool, pretty cool. But we still have a lot of progress to make. That whole episode took way too long. So let's get the next task. Complete one Slayer task. Awesome. All right, so I guess we have a new Slayer task. Let's go get that. Use my handy dandy Karamja gloves. Hold on a minute, hold on a minute. Isn't there a new Slayer master? I could have sworn there was one for the elf place. Let's see. Okay, there's no new Slayer Master, but there is a new dungeon. So maybe we'll check that out. But for now, let's just get a task from our good old friend, Duradel. This is a long run, huh? 150 worms. I may as well show you the Slayer stuff right now. So I've unlocked um, a few things, some shortcuts like Gargoyle Smasher, of course, the Slayer Helmet. I can create my own Slayer Rings. And I like AVNCs because there's a point in time I really enjoyed going to Armadale. <laughs> Might still do that too. So yeah, and then I have um, boss tasks unlocked as well. There's a few tasks that I've extended, mainly the Suquas, Rune Dragons, AVNCs of course, Black Demons, Blood Veils, Dust Devils, Gargoyles, Wyverns, Necreals, and Abbey Demon. And then this is my block list as well. So they're just mainly like the tasks I just don't like doing, or they're not good, so. I think it's pretty decent. Let's go gear up. Well, now I gotta sell my Tormented Bracelet because I'm gonna take a melee setup. Right now, I've only been keeping one C9 jewelry. And then if I need to switch it out, I'll just sell that one and get that. That way I can kind of get the best of all three without locking up like 40 mil. So it works for me, that's what I usually do. Just gotta wait for it to sell for a second, but we'll just, oh, there it goes. Oh, I need the Boots of Stone, so no prims today. All right. This is the setup I'm gonna be, oh no, not with a Sears ring, hold up. And you know what, why not? I'm gonna try out the new Divine Super Combat Potions. 17K, I mean, technically these are the best though. Oh, you know what? I don't even need my Draymon staff anymore because I have this farming cape and it can teleport me to where I need to go for this task. I think that's it, huh? These are pretty, pretty straightforward. Although I'm gonna bring some more prayer potions. That's probably good. Okay, we are max offense. Let's do this. Wow, that teleport is so nice. Man, I think these attack with magic, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch that up real quick. Ooh, an impling. Let's get it. Gotta get that hunter experience, man. I'm 75. As long as I keep hunter above runecrafting, so my tears will go straight to runecrafting, I am okay. That is all I care about. Technically, it is a bit better to use a range setup, but I have 16 million range experience and I don't have 91 attack and defense. So we're just gonna use melee. That's probably what I'll do for the majority of my Slayer tasks, unless it's like Armadale or AVNCs or something that you can only use range. So let's get to it. Also, I should mention that I'm using a whip instead of something like a Zamoraki and Hosta because I want to train attack. I mean, I suppose I could train defense, but I don't know. I mean, I'd have to sell some stuff too, and I'm lazy. Climb the rocks. I think I pray mage, right? Hey, there they are. I don't even know if these are good. Oh, I should have brought my bone crusher, huh? I think I might go get that. Honestly, I've only had a couple tasks, I think, since this came out, and it's been a long time, but... I really like these animations, like that electricity right there. Damn, I just hit a 53. Okay, 52. I'm almost debating if I should try and bank all the bones. 50 prayer experience, and I actually have Mauritania Elite, so if I do go get that, I'll be getting the 
full amount of prayer experience and I need prayer experience so might as well go do that huh how much are these adamant arrow tips worth 1k and they stack okay I might look like a noob picking all this stuff up but this is how you get rich folks the reason they're not getting rich is because they're leaving all this stuff on the ground okay what can I sell probably the ancestral hat I need it for the other series, but that's okay. I can always buy it back if I need to record with that. How much is a Dragon Hunter Lance? 82 mil. Uh, yeah, um, no. <laughs> what about Grazi Rapier? 180 mil. That's actually way cheaper than it used to be. I'm just gonna go with the Hasta. Granite Boots, how much are those? 1.5 mil. What even are the stats though? Ooh, these are worth it. Granite boots have a plus three strength bonus and they still protect your feet from the wyverns in the cave. So if you look at this, they're much better than these boots because these give no strength bonus. It's like all my cash though. <laughs> Probably wasting so much time instead of just killing these, but that's okay. I like to kill things with a good setup, you know? And this ancestral hat is not selling. 14,500. Oh, we also need the bone crusher. Don't forget that. How many uh, bones do I have? 5,000 still, that's not bad. Hey, there we go. That looks freaking beast. I'm gonna go with stab though. 126, <laughs> that's almost as good as the whip. Wow, and the stab is off the charts. Let's go back. Okay, let's see how high these hit. So with these potions, I think I said this in the last video, but with these potions, they last for five minutes but your stats don't go down. So the DPS is slightly better than normal just because you'll have the maximum stat boost for the full five minutes. So honestly, I think it's worth it in my opinion. I mean, sure, you can use Berserker, but then you gotta use more prayer points and that might actually cost more in the long run. So we'll just be powering these out. How much is 200 fire runes? Is that even worth picking up? It's 1K. I mean, I'll pick that up. Okay, so somehow I'm getting hit. I'm not sure how though. Oh, these drop herbs too. I should have brought my herb sack. I have one of those as well, although I don't really use it very much. Herb sack. Honestly, I feel really good playing with my main account right now. It's been so long since I've done anything like this and just enjoyed some regular RS content, you know? There's that craze where everyone was going crazy about restricted accounts, but now I feel like, I don't know, it's a different game. It's a different game. Well, I do enjoy playing that account, there's something about a main account, just a regular account. That's why everyone has a main, is because there's something about it that's just fine. You get to do any content you want, there's no restriction. Ooh, my ping is super bad on this world. And I've just realized that I had the sound playing through my speakers this whole time. So... <laughs> My microphone might sound pretty bad, so I'm gonna switch to headphones real quick. Okay, that should be better. For drops, I usually pick up anything that's over 1K. I mean, unless it's stackable. There's some things I don't like to pick up, like pure essence or whatever. As I said so in the beginning, I have my King of the Pirate series, and that's supposed to be more cinematic. It's supposed to be more story driven and restricted to, but for the series, I want it to be completely different because if I made the same thing, you'd never see a video from me. <laughs> so I'd always be stuck between both videos. For this series, I just wanna take it easy, you know? Just enjoy the game, enjoy talking to myself while I look at this computer screen for hours. You know, normal person stuff. And we just ran out of prayer. We got, let's see how many we got, 64 left, not bad. Literally, you've just been talking the whole time. Honestly, I think I'm gonna grab the Draymond staff. The farming guild teleport is actually pretty terrible. Kevos? <laughs> there we go. Dude, they're just leaving a rune med helm on the floor. That's a, uh, this guy must be really rich, huh? As I was saying, the question I always ask people is what do you like to do? What do you like to do on your own time when you're by yourself? And if you're not used to being by yourself, then, then that's a great way figure out what you like to do the most. For me, it was playing RuneScape. That's what I did in high school, and I just got really knowledgeable about the game. 
that's about it. For a long time, I always thought of RuneScape as this thing you just don't want to tell people. And I always felt embarrassed to tell people that I just sunk so many hours into the game. But as I got older, I just kind of realized, like, it doesn't matter. None of that matters. I just really like to play the game. And whatever it is for you, if it's playing this game, if it's drawing, if it's singing, if it's whatever, if it's collecting pens, I don't know. Whatever you like to do, that's what you should do. And it's gonna be something that you would feel embarrassed about, I guarantee it. Because it's the thing that you do when no one's watching and you're afraid to do it. I don't think everyone is really interested in making RuneScape videos, but if you are, I could totally make some videos on just how I record, how I set up everything, how I organize my folders. I don't know if it would help anyone or if anyone would really watch the videos, but if you're interested, I could show you how, because I know when I was starting out uh, a few months ago, I had basically nothing to work with. There's nothing, I mean, yeah, you can find videos on how to make videos, but none of them are very specific to RuneScape. And every game's different, you know? And RuneScape is really unique because they put all of their graphics for items and all kinds of stuff on the wiki. So you could really get creative. And also all the songs, you're allowed to use any of the songs for the game. And as you know, RuneScape has hundreds and hundreds of songs between old school RuneScape and RS3. Honestly, I wonder how much you could make or how much prayer experience you could get if you just found like a populated world and just picked up all the bones. Way of the Worm. The thing is about these potions, since they only last for five minutes, you will be burning through them a little bit faster. If I'm using regular potions, I generally give it like eight levels and then I will drink another dose. Eight to 10, they're definitely more expensive to use, but they are faster. And that's what matters right now. Especially for tasks like these where you just kind of want to blow through them. That's the most important thing. That's an interesting setup. He's going with the black dehyde. I don't even see what shield that is. What shield is that? Is that a twisted buckler? <laughs> Hold on here. I gotta get a closer look at this dude. That's a twisted buckler, amulet of torture, and black dehyde with a Garazi rapier. That is strange. I don't think that setup is really that good, but I don't judge. I don't judge. Hey, we finished it. And I don't need to kill these anymore, so I am going to bounce out of here. No, sandwich lady, you're not getting anything. Back to Duradel. Wait, we can't do that because this is a series called Distracted. And instead of getting another, I don't know when this guy got here. I really don't know when this guy got here. Instead of, sorry, I don't know. He's not wearing any clothing. It's kind of distracting. I forgot this is a series called Distracted. And instead of just going back to back Slayer, we're gonna mix it up and we're gonna press the button. Let's do it. Okay, we have finished our Slayer task. Let's complete that. And now let's let the gods decide our next task. Another Slayer task. Bravo, bravo. We do get to go to Duradel after all. And we're back. I guess we're going to Duradel again. I don't mind. That's just the way of the game, folks. You never know what you're gonna get. You might get the same thing. We do need to do a lot of Slayer tasks. I just got five mil. Nice. Sorry. We do need to do a lot of Slayer tasks to get to 99. I would really like to do some of these cooler ones like Dark Beasts and Cerberus. I've known about Cerberus for so long and I've never been able to do it. So I'm still 89. Smoke Devils as well, and Hydras. All of them would be super cool. But alas, we got neck reels. We got neck reels, folks. Oh, that's painful. You know why? Because I got 215. <laughs> oh, geez. I could barrage them, or I can melee them. If I melee them, it's gonna take two hours. If I barrage them, it'll take probably one hour. I don't know, <laughs> we might just, might just melee them. What are they weak to? Let's check them out. That's right, so neck reels are weak to magic or demon bane weapons. And luckily, I have an arc light somewhere. There it is. Let's check how many charges it has. Luckily, I don't have any charges on my arc light. I don't even think I have any crystals. Oh, it's an ancient shard. Ancient shards. 19, that's quite a bit. Mm, might just go with the whip, to be honest. Or I could go max mage. Mm, I might do that. I know I need to train uh, attack and defense. 
but I have a full max mage setup right now. Might be more inclined to do that. Cause the thing is you still make money. Yeah, you know, I thought about it. We're going, uh, we're going with a melee setup. Mostly because I just really want to get my, my combat stats up to the maximum. So we'll stick with the melee setup. It's just, I don't like doing it because it takes so dang long to get a maximum. What? But that's okay, that's okay. During the quest, I forgot to recharge my teleport seed, so I'm gonna go do that right now. I'm assuming Elunid is still... Oh, she must have... She must have moved to Priftinus, huh? Flagpole. Yep, it's a flagpole. This is a big mine. I'm gonna see if I can get an extra crystal real quick. So this must be it, because this is the Ironworth area. Down here? Oh, yep, that must be it. I don't think anyone's gonna be here because this is a single combat zone. It still might be better to go to the other place. I don't know if I like how spread out these are. Did you know this is probably the only place you'll find a pentagram in RuneScape? There used to be a bunch of them. I guess at some point they went through and removed all of them. There's actually a lot in the underground pass. Oh, of course one spawns when I'm about to die. Usually for those things, I attack them and then I run back. I teleport to my house, recharge my stuff, and then teleport back to the Koran dungeon. But over here, I'm not sure if that's possible. We'll see. See if he's still if he's still there. Come on. Yep, he's still there. Might have to teleport one more time. Oh. That was close. That was really close. <laughs> but I'm using more charges. Dang it. Still not seeing any crystal drops yet. Okay, for the time being, I think I might... Well, there's one thing I want to try first. So for this dungeon, it says that you can use a cannon in the here. Only problem is it's not multi, but I think a cannon would still speed this up a lot. Oh, we're almost out of prayer. Let me turn that off because I <laughs> gotta warm up my coffee because I forgot that I made it already and I didn't even drink it. Mmm. <sighs> That's some Kirkland brand breakfast blend we got going. All right, well, that place is interesting, but I just, I'm just not really feeling it, you know? I'm not feeling it. Well, you know, I guess I could go back. I just don't want to use the granite cannonballs, so I'll just use regular cannonballs. And I just typed in granite cannonball. I'm so, I know this game, trust me. These are only 150, dang. Let's go for 156. Sounds like a good number, yep. And we got the herb sack. Basically, the extent of my knowledge on this is that you can use them to charge crystal weapons and stuff. Ah, uh, 117 more to go. Ooh, that's the third one. So maybe these are a little bit more common than I initially thought. That's another one back to back. Okay, would you believe that while I was doing this, I just got another crystal shard? Wait a sec, I just got two. I just got two back to pack. Wow. Okay, this is not bad. It looks like we're getting about 25K Slayer XP per hour, which is pretty good. Honestly, anything over 20K is decent. And then the other thing is I'm getting 100K, sorry, 80K attack XP. Probably be up to 90K if I use the arc light. Ah, oh, I just paused the recording and I got a Necri arc. This time I have the cannon though. So I wonder how well that'll work. Ooh, that is so much better. He hasn't even spawned his, oh, there they go. Definitely the easiest one I've ever done. Closing in on the task finally. We're at about 20 left. So I'll just finish this up real quick. And we'll see what's next. There we go, task complete. Now, let's turn our attention to the button. So we'll complete that. We didn't get any levels, so nothing changes here. Now on to the next task. Hmm, interesting. Complete one Kandarin task. Okay, well, we get to choose. Luckily, I have the requirements for some of the tasks, otherwise this would really suck, because you, I would have to get something like 90 smithing. So. Pick some dwarf weed from the herb patch at Catherby. Fish and cook five sharks in Catherby using cooking gauntlets. I'm gonna go with this one right here. Let's go do that. It's obviously a helmet, dude. Do, do, do. That's a tuna. It's the big net one, right?
This is taking forever. And I have 95 fishing, by the way. Well, I guess we just sit back and chill out for a little bit. There we go. Now we're getting some. Also, we just hit 144 million total experience. I don't know what it is about Catherby, but I just love fishing here. There's so many places to fish in RuneScape, but something about Catherby is just feels so relaxing. What's your favorite place to fish in RuneScape? Let me know in the comments below. Now we just need to cook them. Can you fail with 99 cooking? I would assume no. Hey, there we go. Canner and task complete. Now that was a pretty quick task. Let's do the next one. Go ahead and mark this off as complete. And this will change our achievement diary. All right, it is time to let the gods decide. Another achievement diary task. Excellent. We are going to do this task right here. Create a dragonstone amulet in the Nadus Not Furnace. And then after that, there's only one more task and we get the elite Fremnic diary, which makes DKs amazing and notes all the bones for the Dagnoth Kings. So that would be an interesting boss task to get, but you need 82 runecrafting and I'm only 74. So we'll, might be a while for that, hopefully. Crossing my fingers. Is that it? Sweet. That was it. We got one more. Mmm. Nice. Do 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 do. Let's go ahead and mark this off. Now we're at 325, still 66%, but next task. Complete one clue scroll. Well, I got two in the bank. One's a master clue that requires a really high earth lore level, and the other one is a hard clue. So naturally, we're gonna pick the hard clue. I think we'll turn it off for the puzzle if we get a puzzle box. I shouldn't have said that. Well, <laughs> I'm a man of my word. Well, I try to be. Okay, let's see here. It's been a while since I actually did one of these. Next step, search the carts in the northern part of the Dwarven Mine. Probably the easiest way to get there is Valdor, maybe? Those rocks are interesting, too. Ooh, we got the casket. There is... Ooh, that's nice. All right, let's open it. That is actually really dang good that's a really good clue all right 800k i'll take it let's go sell that yeah i'll just keep it all right well now we got the next task let's hop on over okay we completed one clue scroll let's let the gods decide complete one clue scroll okay well then i guess we need to go get a clue scroll for this next one so i haven't really figured out how i want to go about this for the clue scrolls i could just go get like an easy one and do it i don't know maybe we should have a rule about clue scrolls where i have to complete all of them before i can go get a new one so if i have a master that means i have to do it if i get the clue scroll challenge so with this one i have to mix an anti-venom potion and for that i need 87 However, you can boost, I think at least a plus five from the spicy stews. So I technically only need to get 82 herb lore. Yeah, I don't know. I think we'll end this episode for today so I can let you decide on what I should do. Should I get a new clue scroll or should I be required to complete this one? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And again, big thank you for 7,000 subscribers. Love you all.